welcome back to my dark corner of this sick world. Tonight, we are going to make a contribution to the world of culture. We're supporting Dark Corners on Patreon. I understand the bonus content is excellent. Dark Corners favourite Paul Nashi played the werewolf Valdemar Daninsky in 13 films spread over 36 years, although the gaps between them do lengthen. <laughs> Made in 1981, The Night of the Werewolf is the ninth film and the latest that we've looked at, Dunitsky returning after a six-year break. What a way to screw up your vacation. But, to be honest, there are signs of a formula that was never flush with originality starting to repeat itself. But the opening is straight out of non-werewolf Nashi film, Horror Rises from the Tomb, as Elizabeth Bathory is sentenced for the abominable crimes of witchcraft, vampirism, and dealings with the devil. She's been a bad girl. She drinks human blood, practices cannibalism, and is given over to the devil. Really bad. Many young maidens, lads, even children, were tortured and... Probably deserves this. As punishment, you will be buried alive until you are delivered by death. Then we'll stop. Her servants are also sentenced, including Voldemar Daninsky. It has been proven that on the nights of the full moon, you became a wolf. His punishment? May your face be totally covered by the mask of dishonor. I do not like the mask of dishonor. And may your black heart always be pierced by the sacred cross, forged with the silver of the Mayensa chalice. Yeah, yeah, same old. And God in his graciousness, May he show mercy on your wickedness. Which is more than we're going to do. Centuries later, we meet Karen and Barbara. We're researchers, you know. Researchers can be hot too. They're planning a girly holiday. Transylvania, the Carpathians and all its mysteries. The trip was planned by their friend Erica, a student of the occult with a particular interest in Elizabeth Bathory. The legend says, you know, that if the blood of a young woman is shed on the ashes of the Countess, invoking Esteroth according to the ritual of the Medallion. Yes. I think I know where this is going. Elizabeth Batori would return to life. All very werewolf versus vampire woman, but in that film, which we have also reviewed, the resurrections are a horrible accident, whereas Erica has a plan. I gave myself up to Satan and black magic a long time ago. She kills her mentor. <laughs> steals an artifact, then goes on holiday with her friends. Meanwhile, in the distant castle, a pair of tomb robbers are fulfilling their contractual obligation Here lies Valdemar Daninsky. to do something really dumb. No, sir, please don't take it out. The girls ask for directions in one of those taverns that exist in a gothic time warp and receive a warning. It's a refuge for monsters, vampires. And if that wasn't bad enough... The roads are very bad. If only someone had said that to Jonathan Harker. Ignoring the advice, they continue and are attacked by bandits. First hand over your money. Anything's of any value, baby. You. But... Ah! <laughs> At the castle, while Erica and Barbara locate the Countess's tomb... We found you, Elizabeth. We're now able to liberate you after all these centuries. I thought we were here on a holiday. Karen meets their mysterious saviour. <laughs> Of course, they need a place to stay the night, but who would put up a trio of attractive and curious young students? I'll stand guard. Count on me, and I'll bring my bloodhounds along. Daninsky, going by the name Janus Bulko, lets the girls stay, but Erica isn't fooled. Janus Bulko's Valdemar Daninsky. And establishes the other trope of the Daninsky films. Can only be freed from his eternal curse if a woman who loves him is willing to sacrifice her life by thrusting through his heart the holy silver on the night of the full moon. Fortunately for him, Karen is the chosen one, and she will love you 
and with her sacrifice your spirit will achieve eternal peace. How convenient, and they quickly fall in love. Well then, I won't have the courage to leave you. Although, he is also tempted by Erica. I know she's perverse, but she has such beauty. And that combination kind of works for me. But Erica's goal has not changed. And the world of the living will bow down to us. And then we'll control the complete destinies of humanity. Just crowbar world domination in. Now, if Erica is the bad girl and Karen is the good girl, what purpose does Barbara serve? Victim, got it. The Countess's resurrection is pretty good. And she sets about turning Erica and getting the old band back together. But it's Daninsky she really wants. We need him and his destructiveness, his lust for blood, his invulnerability. Given he's been dead for centuries, I wouldn't put too much stock in his invulnerability. You will go to the castle and infect him with your stigma. Gotta be another way to put that. Daninsky meets with some locals. Many die bloodless because vampires have appeared, rising from their tombs. Ill titans are upon us. How is this set in 1981? What can they do about the vampires? There's only one solution, if you ask me. Garlic. A lot of garlic. Garlic up to your ass. Problem solved. That night, Erica comes to... infect him with her stigma. Must. Resist. Ah, go on then. Karen rushes to help, but... <laughs> Fighting off the vampire, she races to the man she loves. <laughs> well, I hope you're having a good night. I never believed she could dominate me. I tried to stop her, love, but she was all over me. My suspicion is that if this is the first of the Voldemar Daninsky films you watch, you will enjoy it. But if you've seen the others, then it does feel familiar. For instance, time is on their side. Time is running out. There's hardly any time left. And yet, I don't want to wait until tomorrow. When all they needed was garlic. A lot of garlic. Garlic up to your ass. There is also the ever present problem of these films that Daninsky is forever moping about how hard it is to be a werewolf while simultaneously. <laughs> It's not a picnic for your victims, either. The vampires are cool, and they know how to make an entrance. As does the werewolf himself. But if you're looking for something different or original, then the earlier entries are more fun. But I still say it's all crap. Thanks for watching. Please hit the like button. Up to your ass. Which franchises managed to stay fresh despite multiple entries? Let us know in the comments below. <gasps>